Have you ever thought about making your own animated film? You likely have. Well then, choosing the right tool should be the first step to getting started. And amongst all the tools available, we will talk today about two software that have grown and developed over the years, OpenTunes and Synfig. Hopefully we will help you find the software that fits you best. Before we continue, let me tell you about Skillshare, which is a platform that has hundreds of classes about animation, drawing, illustration, and several other creative fields. We have covered a lot of videos on our channel about OpenTunes, so now we've got you guys this course from Skillshare, which will help you learn the 2D software. It's a beginner course that anybody can join, and it is taught by Ferdinand Englander, who will teach you how to create stunning 2D morph animation in OpenTunes, and you will see a professional animation workflow that will save you hours of trial and error. The Skillshare platform offers a wide variety of additional related courses and the first 1,000 people to click the link in the description will receive a free month of premium membership. All right, now back to the video. Software Overview Synfig Synfig is an open source 2D animation software available for almost all operating systems such as Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. The software is vector-based and includes a range of powerful tools for creating animations that have been designed for small teams with few resources to manage their animation projects and produce film quality animations. Instead of frame-by-frame -frame animation, in Synfig you can create traditional hand-drawn animation, cutout animations, and digital 2D animations. It comes in two versions, the stable one, which has a proven and well-tested set of tools, and the development version, which gives you a good opportunity to try the latest features and bug fixes. OpenTunes. On the other hand, OpenTunes is also a free open source software for 2D animation. Moreover, it is a free version of the well-known software tools that many, many studios and animators worldwide use. It comes up with a feature-rich and intuitive user interface as well as several powerful tools for creating traditional hand-drawn animations. OpenTunes is compatible with a wide range of file formats, including TIFF, JPEG, PNG, and PSD, making it easy to import and export your work. It is also constantly being updated and improved by its active community of developers, ensuring that it remains a cutting-edge tool for animators. Interface the layout of Synfig is probably familiar if you have ever used animation software before. It comes with a simple and easy to use interface. When you open the software with the default layout, you'll see the canvas, where you'll create your animation. On the left side, you can find the toolbox window that contains basic drawing tools like the brush, the fill tool, the scale tool, and many more. In addition to that, it also contains options to change the color, the brush size, and some default settings. On the opposite side, on the left, you have some panels like the navigator, tool options, and the layers. Finally, at the bottom, and as with any animation software, you have the timeline, which allows you to control the motion and the animation of your objects and characters. The UI design is kind of different compared to other animation software, but it won't affect your experience since the interface is fully customizable. Once you've got the program running, you'll find yourself by default in a room called basic. Rooms are technically workspaces. The upper right corner of the screen allows you to flip between each one's collection of panels at any time. It has some important panels, starting with the viewer, which is your canvas, where you will draw and animate. On the left side, you will find some tools that will help you create art, like brushes, erasers, animation tools, and many more. Going to the right, you have a powerful X sheet panel that works like any animation timeline, vertically, allowing you to manage the frames and the scene content. Next to it, you have the level strip, where you'll see drawings listed out for the current level. And finally, at the bottom, you find the styles palette, where you'll have the colors available for every level. Features Synfix Studio is designed to do away with the necessity to sketch each frame individually, in contrast to traditional animation. That's why it provides some cool features like vector tweening, which is the process of generating images between keyframes to help animators save a lot of work. 
Currently, it has the most powerful and fastest tweening system on the market. Synfig includes a range of visual effects that you can use to enhance your animations such as filters, gradients, and distortions. These effects can be easily added and adjusted, allowing you to experiment with different styles and techniques. It also provides an advanced rigging system, which allows you to create a virtual skeleton for your character or object. This makes it easy to create complex animations with intuitive and natural movements. Another important thing that makes Synfig so popular among many other animation software is that it offers features to save time when working on large productions, like the back-end rendering. The process consists of creating animation in the front end of Synfig Studio and rendering it later with the back-end, using a rendering tool that works without a graphical display. Also, Lincoln is the feature that helps you take any animation piece's data and reuse it later whenever and wherever you want. Essentially, it has everything you need for your 2D animation projects. Open Tunes. Open Tunes has unique features starting with the plugin SDK developed by Duongo's machine learning research to enhance your animations with various effects like changing picture styles, adding an affected incident light, and creating wavy distortion. All of that by applying deep learning technology. In addition, Open Tunes supports a range of scanning and raster tools, making it easy to integrate hand drawn elements in your animation. This makes it a great option for those who prefer traditional animation techniques. Next, one of the standout features of OpenTunes is the rigging tool. With this tool, you can create smooth and realistic animations such as walk cycles and lip syncs. It is so helpful to bring your character to life. Another impressive feature is the camera movement tool. It allows you to create moving shots and add a whole new level of dynamism to your animation. You can pan, zoom, and rotate the camera to create a variety of shots such as tracking shots and aerial shots. Not to mention that OpenTunes also has many other features like onion skinning, vector editor, multiple frames per second support, and many more. Unfortunately, we can't talk about everything in one video. Learning Curve Learning to use Synfig Studio's stable version might take you a little time, especially if you have some knowledge about vector design and animation software. The UI is relatively easy to understand, and the workflow is simple enough, even for users who aren't dedicated artists. Moreover, the software is maintained by the community, so you can find help at any time. OpenTunes, a flexible animation program, might be... Not so user-friendly as Synfic, though. It has more features and tools, but once you learn the basics and understand the workflow, you'll be able to do a great job with it. Industry when it comes to the industry, numerous experts and large companies like Studio Ghibli have long used the program to create well-known animated movies you're surely familiar with, such as Princess Mononaki and Spirited Away. The new version as well is still highly used nowadays and most notably in the Japanese industry by many studios like Rough Draft Studios and, of course, Studio Ghibli. It was used for the first time by Studio Ponok to produce Mary and the Witch's Flower by the former studio. Studio Ghibli producer Hiromasa Yunibayashi. Contrarily, Synfig, a 2D animation program with several intriguing features, is less well known and less frequently used than other popular programs, but a few tiny independent animation studios have used it. This brings us to the end of this video. In general, we can say that both of these software have their own unique features, so it's up to you to pick the software that matches your skills and expectations, and remember that it's not the tool that matters, but how you use it. If you found this video useful, we will be thankful if you like and subscribe, and don't forget to tell us in the comments which 2D software is your favorite. With that being said, we hope to see you in the next one.